Yeah, because technically Toys to Life is dead. Unless somehow you found a way to make Gunpla, Gunpla simulations and just do like they did Whoa. in Gunpla Bill. Fighters, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, only oh. at, at least it wouldn't be Toys to Life as creepy as the old Teddy Ruxpin dolls. Oh, God, no. Oh, no, God. No, 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 no. That's it. <laughs> Right there. Didn't Nostalgia Critic didn't review on that? Mm-hmm. It was a Halloween yeah, was special. I think it might, might have been his very first Halloween special. It was. Oh, I mean, the animated series for what it was, um, when you're like five or six watching it, it's pleasant enough. When you watch it years later, you're like, oh, this has not aged well. I used to have <laughs> one of those Teddy Ruggs bins. I only ever, I, I think I only ever had like a, a magazine because for whatever reason they wouldn't get me one back in the day. In hindsight, knowing, looking at how creepy that thing is now, I'm kind of glad I never got one because I look at like, stop looking at me. I don't like that. I, it. I probably would have saved mine for value reasons, but unfortunately, because it was buried in my garage for so long, mm. it, there were spiders all over it. I did not want uh. to touch it. Hmm. I think the only uh, characters, because my I I think I found a couple of episodes on Daily Motion of all things. It shows you how uh, how rare some of these are. Um, showed it to my brother, and if, I think the only p the only characters he liked was either was either Tweeg or the Bounder, because <laughs> the rest of he's just like. He's like, I don't like Teddy. He's creepy. And I'm like, yeah, I can understand why. But that was back in the yeah. day when they didn't really focus so much on voice acting. Whereas now, with a couple that uh, phone it in, Kevin Conroy, I'm looking, watching you. A lot of them actually, a lot of them put their backs into it now. Whereas, yeah. like I said, back in the or day. Like, you still have fun with it. Mark Hamill, I'm looking at you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did someone mention me? The Mark Hamill is the Joker. Oh. That in any role he does, he just goes ham, and I, that's what I respect about his voice work. Yeah. Hell, I'm still laughing about that little uh, short mini episode of Justice League action. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> Honestly, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. You can tell he was having fun with it. Uh, hey, if you if you don't have fun, man, I don't know what you're I don't know what you're doing. Why do you think I want to get into the field so badly? And I'm actually going to be working on a project soon for uh, one of uh, Kaiju's friends. Yeah, <laughs> it's a radio play called Waffle Man. <laughs> oh, right. Waffle Man! That, that that came from like the the most random of conversations. And I'm super yeah. glad that that has kind of spiraled out of control into this madness. <laughs> Yeah, that's a, that was what they told me last night because they were calling to tell me about the lines. I kind of did a small sample to see if I was what they looked for. And I'm really grateful for the opportunity. <laughs> yeah, I'm very happy to hear that. Adam Warford is like, just saying in the comments section, MJ, remember my, my buddy doll? It came out the same time at uh, same time Charles play. My brother had one and it crept the fuck out of him. Like, <laughs> oh god, no. No, 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 no. Charles, Oh fucking Chucky. Ugh. Oh, that's the reason I don't <laughs> yeah, like dolls. I, don't like I could dolls. not look at my Barbie dolls the same way again. No. Because my sister my sisters made the mistake of letting me watch uh all three on when they were on HBO when I was a kid. Uh, and God, no. At that point, I either had to hide them or, in a slight way, I would kind of like find my own way to like slay them because <laughs> not not because I was a weird kid, but because of seeing those movies, I was more like, I need to defend myself and kill these fuckers before they kill me. <laughs> <laughs> the most traumatizing scene was from Child's Play Three when he switched out the. Uh, Paint ammunition with real ammunition at the military academy. Oh my god, mm. yeah. It's or, funny. Or, oh my god. Or the one time in in the in the climax of Child's Play Two when the guy when the guy was guys were working on the dolls, bam, he got hit with those pla those two plastic eyes. Oh. And, now got, and now you've got it kind of returning with these Annabelle movies. 
Um, oh, it God, also, yeah. oh yeah, it also kind of plays into that one scene from Small Soldiers where somehow yeah. they, they put they put the chips in the Barbie dolls, and all, I think they had oh, Sarah yeah, Michelle yeah, Gellar. Scary. Yeah, they had Sarah Michelle Gellar and Christina Ricci voicing them, which I thought, okay, that's cool. Oh, God. But, but then again, Sarah Michelle Gellar no, was known for playing Valley Girls from back in the day. So for her to voice Barbie, it's like, yeah, this works. But still scary as shit. Yeah, oh, yeah. Especially I, I can only assume, I can only imagine how they got the rights to use Barbie in that context for that movie. Yeah, well, technically, they weren't, Barbie. technically they weren't Barbies, I believe. No, uh, they weren't. They, I mean, they were called something else. I can't remember. Well, that makes Basically sense. Something. The the bit that made me laugh is they're watching a clip from the APA versus someone I don't know, and it just goes, "Look at it! It looks so real." And I thought, "Oh fuck you!" <laughs> <laughs> I, I I mean I laugh. I got I saw the funny side of it, but I'm like, okay, I saw what you did there. <laughs> But that, that was actually one of the few voiceover roles that Tommy Lee Jones has done. But for him to voice a... Oh, yeah, uh, he was. A marine yeah. toy. It's like, yeah, that works. I didn't even realize it was him when I first saw that movie. I'm all, huh. For someone who hasn't voice acted before, you're, you've kind of got a knack for it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Then, then again, he also played the the general in the first Captain America movie. And oh, yeah, it's yeah. I like the line he says to um, to Cap um, just after he just after he's kissed Peggy. He just looks at him and goes, "He says, we look at me for I ain't kissing you.'" <laughs> <laughs> God, <laughs> hard to think that movie's seven years ago now. God yeah. damn. And Chris Evans, I don't know what he's taking. Maybe he's taking something that the uh, that the diva, that not not the divas, the women were taking for the women's rumble because some of those girls they haven't aged a day. Yeah, 